Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Harrison, and today I'm going to be covering Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish. I'm going to be covering the melody first, since that's the more recognizable part of the song, and it's probably what you came here to learn. And then I'm going to be moving on to the chords. Um, so without further ado, let's get to that melody. We're going to start with our pointer finger on the second fret of the B string. Move down to the second fret of the G and then put our third finger down on the fourth fret of the G. It's most convenient if you bar your pointer finger across the second fret of both the B and G strings, um, because you want to be able to hold these notes out as long as possible, and you can't really do that when you have to jump from the B string to the G string like that. Um, so, here's how that sounds. And then after that, we're going to move our middle finger up to the second fret of the B. The reason I'm using my middle finger instead of my pointer finger is because um, we're going to use our pointer finger on the first fret of the G down here. So our first note is the second fret of the B. Our um, second note is going to be um, the first fret of the G. And then we're going to use our pinky finger down on the 4th fret of the D. So if we combine those two parts, it sounds like this. Now, after that, we're going to put our pointer finger on the 2nd fret of the G. And this part's a little bit faster, so... Um, yeah, we're going to start on the 2nd fret of the G string, move our 3rd finger down to the 4th fret of the G string, put our pointer finger up on the 2nd fret of the B, middle finger on the 3rd fret of the B, and then land right back on that 2nd fret of the B. So. Here's how that sounds. So notice how I played that a little faster. I'm going to play it in context now. And once we land on the second fret of the B again, that brings us right into the second part of our riff, which is quite similar actually. We're going to start out with that same first part, the 2 on B, 2 on G, 4 on G. That part stays the same. But the second part is a little bit different. We're going to actually start on the first fret of the G, go up to the second fret of the B, and then put our pinky down on the 4th fret of the D. Here's how that all sounds. Alright, now that we're done with the melody, uh, let's move on to the chords. So, we're going to start with this uh, D major 7 up here. So that means uh, open D, 2nd fret on G, and 2nd fret on the B. So as you can see, you can kind of already hear the first note of that melody in there. And you're gonna hold that, and then we're gonna go down to um, we're gonna go down to the E chord. After that, we're gonna slide up to um, a C sharp. This one's just a power chord. It's not major or minor. Uh, there's no distinction in the song, so I just play it as a fifth. So that means pointer finger on the fourth fret of the A. Uh, third finger on the sixth fret of the D, and third finger on the sixth fret of the G. 
and then we're going to go back to um, the D major 7 and then we're going to repeat that again all right so here is how it sounds uh, just the chords Now uh, we're going to do something a little bit interesting. So if you go back to the beginning of this video, you might notice that I kind of combined the chords and the melodies into a single arrangement. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you look at this uh, D major 7 chord we're playing at the beginning here, the top note is the beginning of our melody riff, that second fret of the B. So. We're going to play that chord in full, then we're going to pick the second fret of the G, and then after that we're going to move down to our E. Make sure to only strum the bottom five strings of this chord because you want to end on the open B, which is already in the chord, so it makes it really easy. And then we're going to move up to our uh, C sharp five, play that in full pick the D string, that 6th fret of the D string, and then move right back down to um, our D major 7. Then we're going to play that little run in the middle, and then instead of playing the 2nd fret of the B string, we're just going to play a full on D major 7. We're going to pick the 2nd fret of the G, strum a full E, stop at, the, stop at the B string, and then this part is where things get a little bit different. We're going to play only the bottom two strings of our C sharp 5. And then we're going to pick the 6th fret of the G string, and then we're going to go back to our D major 7 to resolve the song. All right, so that's going to wrap this video up for today. Once again, this has been Harrison. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, my socials will be in the description below along with my new website. Uh, on my website, you can learn a little bit more about me as well as schedule lessons with me. So go check that out. Um, thank you all very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. And I hope to see you in future videos. Peace.